Hey booze, in this video, I give commentary based on my opinion. Nothing is to be taken as factual. We are just here to have conversation. We don't expose and we don't sip tea on this channel. I'm giving you real talk straight, no chaser. Let's see if you can handle it. <laughs> I think for you to be proud of her. Of course you have. You are marrying a man who can support you. It's so nice to finally see hard wig, soft life on our big screens. We didn't even know that's what we were seeing. We didn't know that's what we were seeing on our big screens. We thought it was just a bad weave and you know, good weave, it attracts the dust, but bad weaves and bad wigs tend to attract the cats. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like maybe AD went on the show intentionally with a bad weave because she maybe was really truly about that, you know, hard wig, soft, soft life type of, uh, you know, lifestyle. And it's finally coming out because girl, I'm, I have to be honest with you. I didn't like her before, but now I'm just like, hmm, okay, AD. Okay. Cause I, I see, she had me confused. I was like, is she really this dumb? I don't want to believe she's this dumb because quick witted women tend to be intelligent. And I always found it suspicious that AD and Laura was so, they were like so close on the show. And Laura is sharp in the mind. Laura is the type, like I know a lot of people don't like Laura, but Laura is sharp in the mind. She plotted and waited for Jeremy to lie, to be like, aha, I caught you red handed. And no, you're not gonna gaslight me and flip this around on me because she's sharp in the mind. And it, I always questioned why AD and Laura were so close, but AD was a dummy when it came to this dusty named Clay. But then when it came to Sarah Ann, she was so quick witted and she was so on point. It just, it wasn't adding up. It wasn't adding up. Cause I'm like, how you dumb over here, but you, you quick witted over here. I, it, it, it never made sense. It ne but now it's all starting to make sense. It's all starting to make sense. I really think that AD was just trying to capitalize off her five minutes of fame because let's be real. When have we seen a dark skinned black woman make it out the pods in Love is Blind in the history of Love is Blind, the experiment? I don't think we ever saw a dark skinned black woman make it out the pods. Have you? I haven't. I, I haven't seen a black woman make it out the pods yet, but AD made it out the pods. AD made it out the pods. She didn't even just make it out the pods. She made it all the way to the altar. She extended her five minutes of fame and somehow became fans' favorite this season. Interesting. 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 I'm liking this. I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm clocking it and I'm liking what I'm seeing because I got tired of watching these love shows where Black women would go on these love shows <laughs> And it was a hot mess. They were always done dirty. They were, I thought it was going to be another Aaliyah and Uche. That was a mess. How they did Aaliyah was messed up. And then she was just like, oh, I'm just going to leave the show. And I thought it was weird that she just left the show. But it was clear there were some things going on behind the scenes that we didn't know anything about. And it wasn't on camera. So it was nice to see a switch up this season. And I'm glad that the truth is coming out um, when it when it comes to, you know, AD having a sugar baby, a sugar baby. OK. Um, Lauren. Uh, Lauren. Let me share. Let me share, let me share, let me share. Because I want to share this so y'all can see what I'm talking about.
Okay, so first let's play this. I'm gonna talk about Clay and the best friend. And then I'm gonna talk about what AD said on a recent podcast. So let me play this first. Okay, let me blow it up. So this is just more evidence. This is the best friend. This is Clay's best friend. Okay, now from my understanding, that rumor of AD being a sugar baby, it was already out here. The streets was talking in Charlotte. And the streets were talking on Charlotte's blogs on Instagram, but nobody had proof of this information being true until Clay's best friend hopped in the comments and was being a Mr. Sassy Pants. Okay. So he hopped in the comments and blasted her, tried to at least, and try to out her like, girl, you're a sugar baby. You're not even a realtor. So this is the best friend. Let me show you one more time. Okay. All right. He commented. If you saw the if you saw the community tab post. Okay, cool. All right. Because I'm not about to read all of that. Then let me remove that. Then let me show you this too. Believe it or not, there's some more Love is Blind mess going on. So AD was on the podcast Relationship. You can see it on YouTube right now. The show is hosted by Cami Crawford. So Cami posted a reel on her Instagram of just different clips from the episode, you know, just to promote it and say, hey, go listen to it. In the reel, there's a clip of AD saying her finances were never funny. Because if you remember on their wedding day, part of the reason Clay decided not to marry AD is because he said he did not understand her finances. In Clay's defense, I also felt the same way. And I even said in a video that AD always gave unemployed because she was like VIP manager at a club, but she wasn't even working at the club. Then she was doing real estate, but she wasn't really working during the day. It just wasn't clear on what she actually did to make money. Okay, here's where the mess comes in. Oh, let's go back to the Instagram reel that Cami posted. Clay's best friend hopped in the comments and had a lot to say about AD and her alleged finances. Long story short, Clay's best friend says that AD has a sugar daddy. Clay's friend jumped to the comments and said this, I'm Clay's best friend and we both been living out in Charlotte for years now. AD's finances are in fact funny. She has a sugar daddy that is funding her life. Bought her a car and apartment. She not a realtor. Ask her to show us one house she sold or a picture she took with someone in front of the house she just sold them. I'll wait. I think he's trying to say the nerve to do a press run to lie on a dude that has said nothing but kind, respectful things about her is nasty work. And he wasn't done. He went on to say November 2023 around her birthday, her sugar daddy confronted Clay and I outside the club stating he was still involved with her and had been the entire time and told Clay to stop messing with her. Again, I tend to believe that because on the show, it just felt like we couldn't get a straight answer about her working situation. I'm gonna you know what I like about it is I think Clay knew all along. That's what I think. And Clay's friend, like, okay, y'all were trying to make it seem like Clay sassy. But if Clay was really sassy, why didn't he expose that after the altar? He just said that her finances were were funny. He didn't even he didn't even like throw hints of a sugar daddy at all. If it wasn't for the friend being jelly, right? Would we even know about this? I don't know. I don't know because Clay could have outed her after the altar. He could have outed her at the reunion. But he didn't do that. He didn't mention the sugar baby at all. And for the women that are like, oh, I don't believe the friend. Girl, <laughs> like, what do you mean? 
And we're going to get into we're going to get into why this is more believable, because I remember the conversation with Clay's mom, sister, uh, where they went out to lunch or whatever or dinner or whatever like that. And they were having a conversation about work and schedules and things like that. And it didn't make sense then. So I feel like it's more believable in my opinion, but also the another reason why I feel like it's believable is because AD doesn't have a digital blueprint when it comes to being a realtor. She may have her license, she may be registered, but I don't think this girl has sold a house either. I don't think the best friend is lying about that. Because if you go to her Instagram, this is her only Instagram. This is her personal Instagram. You click the link here. There's no website. Okay, she has links to her TikTok, uh, back to her Instagram, her Amazon page, and some type of uh, shop. That's it. Hold on, let me go back. Because I don't think I was able to show you. It switched on me. So people just think I'm believing the, the best friend blindly. I'm like, mm, no, this actually does make sense. So this is her, this is where her link under or in her bio on her Instagram, this is what it leads to. Her TikTok her email, okay, and then this shop, this Amazon page, and then back to her Instagram. So let me go back to her Instagram because I'm about to show you some more things that I found out. So when you go to her Instagram, this is her only Instagram. She does not have a business page. I actually think this is her business page, but okay. So I scroll down. These are the only posts when it comes to her being a realtor. Okay. Now take a close look at this photo here, take a close look at this photo here of her being a realtor. And then we're gonna scroll down. I think the last time AD was maybe out here uh, really in her realtor's bag was probably back in around 2021. These photos are old. And I don't know if there's any realtors in the comment section, but I really think that if you are a realtor in today's world, you would need a bigger digital blueprint when it comes to houses. I mean, we don't see any tours. We don't see any videos of her touring homes or even apartments. We don't, we don't see anything. But the girl be out. Okay, she be out. She be outside. Okay, she be outside. She be in that gym too. You know, you you see, she be in that gym. But the girl, she be, she just be outside. Hold on, let me go up. This looks like a kept woman to me, okay? So people talking about, I'm just going along with the best friend. I'm like, no, I I, I mean, I did, you know, do a little clicking around to see what's, what was going on. But to be honest, it just, it makes more sense. Okay, I'm not mad at it. And then one thing that I also noticed is that AD has been on the Jennifer Hudson show she has been on many different podcasts. 
She is also seen here promoting for uh, a pre-workout company. Wouldn't you think it would be a smart idea that if you're a realtor, that if you're currently going viral for a reality show, that you would post more of your realtor content to really put your name out there and put your business out there and brand yourself in that way? But she's not doing that. It was a child going to go out of line. People be pressed thinking I'm lying about having a job. Uh, that's, that's very true. That is very true. But it's the type of work that she's into. And if you're a realtor in 2024 and you don't have a digital blueprint when it comes to tours and homes that you're selling, how are you making your money, sis? Okay. Now, I don't know why women are making this a big deal if she's a sugar baby or not. Like, and when I mean a big deal, like in a negative way, who really cares? I would rather it be this situation than to be the situation that we thought it was going to be because we about to get into what uh, AD said on this podcast because I was just like, oh, okay. All right. Okay. Hard wig, soft life. I see you. So let me go back. I, like I said, I would rather believe this than to believe that she was being desperate for no reason over a Dusty on national television where she got embarrassed in front of all of her family and friends and the United States of America, probably plus a whole, around the entire world and think that it was all a storyline, okay, that her and Clay came up with to sell, to stay on the show, to capitalize off their five minutes of fame. OK, I would rather believe the story, the fake storyline narrative than than to think this woman went on national television when the man was mouthing no at the altar. And think that this was all orchestrated than to believe that this woman was really dusty for a man that told her to her face on several occasions that I'm going to cheat on you. Oh, and by the way, if you have a baby and your body changes and I'm no longer attracted to you, I will leave you. I mean, if AD is out here just playing her cards in the way that she was dealt, I'm, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. I would rather believe this fake storyline narrative than to believe that storyline that they fed us, okay? I, I'm just saying, I would rather believe, which is why I had to follow her because I'm like, it's really looking like that's the situation. And to be honest, I can support that. I can support. I couldn't support what I was seeing though on the show. I, I couldn't support that because I'm just like, girl, this, this. First of all, this man is dusty. He was dusty in the pods. If you follow me on Instagram, you knew how I felt. Thirty minutes into the first episode, I said, "I'm only thirty minutes into this first episode. I already don't like it." I already see where this is going to go and I don't like it. So I was never feeling clay ever. I thought he was dusty day one. I thought I was like, well, he dusty. I ain't no point in you wasting your time with him. And she kept like talking to him. I'm like, why she keep talking to this man? This man dusty as hell. But I, like I said, I would rather believe this, this sugar baby story. I, I would rather believe this, but let's continue. Mashed potatoes. Oh, my bad. Hold on. Let me. That's the wrong one. The clip from the show. So none of you will be like, that's not true. She didn't say that. You guys can assess the situation yourself. Do you believe that AD is really a realtor or is it more likely that a sugar daddy is funding her life? All day. Yeah, I work today too. How'd you spend your day? I didn't have much going on today. Hold on. We're going to have to pause it in between. Because you know how um, they like the copyright, but let, let's continue. The gym, did some shopping, clean the house. Okay. So I'm a realtor and I run a nightclub. So. Okay. She a realtor. She run a little nightclub situation. And this is the conversation that she's having with Clay's mom. Mm -hmm. I have today off. I used to work at a nightclub. Mm -hmm. So what do you do there? I'm a VIP manager. A VIP 
I ain't never heard of a VIP manager a day in my life, but listen, she said she was a VIP manager. We just gonna roll with it. That's what she said. She said that she was a VIP manager. I ain't never heard of that. If there are any club people in here, if you wanna chime in, can you please chime in on that? What is a, can you explain to me what a VIP manager is? VIP manager? Yeah, so okay. I pretty much take care of the entire club. Okay. Okay, she take care of the entire club. That's what she's telling his mom, that she is taking care of the entire club. I've been a realtor for about two years now. She said that she was a realtor for about two years. Them photos that I showed y'all was taken in 2021 on her Instagram. Okay? And then I, I don't know if that was just some photos that she wanted to use for her real estate promotions and she just took those photos and they were just random or if that was the height of her realtor career but she's telling his mom that i've been a realtor for the last two years that's what she's telling his mom okay i'm just i'm just clarifying because listen youtube is probably gonna try to copyright so i gotta break it up we we just we just confirming what's being said that's all we doing we just confirming what is being said do you like it i do, I do. okay my okay. long-term goal is to be an investor she said her long her long-term goal is to be an investor that don't sound like a woman that really want to work at all it sounds like that's a woman that just want to sit around and live a soft girl life it it that's what I want to do, girl. I want to do the same thing. I want to be an investor too. Shoot, I don't want to work. I don't want to do labor. I just want to sit around and collect money too because that's what investors do. They sit around, they they give a little money, and then they collect. That's all they do. They don't be doing no hard labor. That's her long-term goal, and I ain't mad at it. I'm not mad at it, not one bit. I want to like renovate and flip homes. Mm -hmm. I, I have like dreams of being like landlord. That sound like a woman that just, she want an easy life. It's not even giving, oh, um, I need to work hard for the money. It's not giving that. It's not giving the typical black woman that feel like she got to break her back, prove herself to be, you know what I mean? It's, it's not giving that. I'm not mad at this. Okay. 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 Well, that could be in line with uh, Clay with me. Is definitely giving hard wigs off life. Let's continue. Let's continue. Sterling entrepreneur. Um, he works very hard. Okay. Does Clay really work hard for his money, or it sounds like he do? It sounds like it sounds like he do. He's a homeowner. I was shocked by that grind. I nearly passed out when he came on the screen and they was like, oh, I own my own house. I, girl, I nearly passed out when I heard that. I almost passed out, almost had a heart attack. Couldn't believe what I was hearing. A black man has his own home. I ain't never seen nothing like it. I think that was like the first black man on the, sh on, on, on the show that had, he was a homeowner. That was new. That was new. Um, but then also, what's the other thing? Jet ski rentals. Uh, he works for Microsoft nine to five. And then there was something else on the side that he was doing. I don't know what it was. I don't really remember. I don't. But let's let's continue. Are to build his business. So I know his long hours mm -hmm. um, is your. Do y'all really think this man is an entrepreneur? Do, oh, Airbnb. I forgot about it. Airbnb. Do y'all really think this man is an entrepreneur? I don't know. That's how the men be out here scamming. Y'all really think he's an entrepreneur? Work long hours as well? Or? It's um, <laughs> long hours, but no. Because like long hours, you work, it's Airbnb. That seems kind of hands off. Jet ski seems kind of hands off what's what's the long hours about he working overtime at microsoft too i don't i know i don't know i got questions i don't know not like it's not doesn't consume me throughout the week 
you do today? I had a couple of meetings, you know, with her schedule. Who was he meeting with? He said he had a couple of meetings. What what were the meetings about? Let's see, let's see. She just started working. Okay. Whereas I came back, I started working immediately. Oh, okay. It sounds like this man got a job. That's what it sounds like. He said when he got back into the real world, he started working immediately. Like he didn't have no choice. He had to get he had to get to work. He had to get to work. That's what it sounded like. Hold on, let's continue. So okay. it was a lot of free time on her end. I understand. She had a lot of free time on her end. Yes, he works at Microsoft. He works at Microsoft, y'all. So let's continue. Where I'm working, so it's like, all right, where's Clay? But you know, you got back. She she works nightlife. Wait a minute, he's breaking it down. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. She's going to be coming home at 2 to 3 a.m. Well, let's continue. Yeah. Uh -huh. That hasn't happened yet because you have not gotten to your schedule. And he was waiting to see what her day-to-day -day schedule was like. She didn't have one. That sound like a soft girl like? That sound like a soft girl like to me. That sound like a soft girl life to me. She didn't, he was waiting to see what her schedule looked like. Like what her day to day schedule looked like so he could align herself with her. Like he wanted to see what that alignment would be like. Them coming in together, living a day to day life. And she's in her, you know, routine where she's working. Like she said that she is, she does. Like she's telling his mom right now, you know, I do all of these things, you know. So, girl, I, Thank you. Something is missing. Okay. She girl, she wasn't working. She was living her best life. That's what it sounded like. When you back in your schedule, is it gonna be that much of an issue? See, 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 see. I think it's gonna always be an issue. Okay, now we gotta switch gears. I know. I think it's fair for him to have questions as well. I don't know why the girls are upset. I mean, I just feel like it's realistic. Hold on. Did I, did I get that video? I know I got it. Because I need to show you the video Oh my gosh, maybe I didn't get it of her on this podcast where she's talking about her finances being funny. That's why the friend got upset. Hold on, I'm about to show you why the friend got upset. Let me show you. Mm-hmm. This is why the friend got upset, y'all. But I'm going to get into the friend here in a sec. Clay throwing shade at her finances on the last episode of the show. Check out this clip and let me know how you guys feel about it. When I got scouted, I was like, okay, I want to be, I want this. Mm -hmm. So I prepared for yeah, this. Right. Like a, an adult would. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I also am a realtor. And if you know anything about real estate, you make your own hours, you make your own schedule, you do your own thing. Right. And then I worked in a nightclub whom was owned by my ex. Mm -hmm. Okay. He was, he knew all of this. Yeah. And so my finances have never been funny mm -hmm. to make that very clear. Never funny, honey. Yeah. And so when we came back, I was like, Hey, look, I'm good. I set myself up. I can take, and I wasn't the only one, a few of us on the cast yeah. took work off to take. You can't just leave your job for like three months and go film a TV show right. and think that you're going to have a job when you get back. Right. <laughs> Like, so you set yourself up to, right. to fully dive into the experiment. And I understand that he wanted to see like what it was like, but I told him in the pods, like I'm leaving my club job because I don't want to work for my ex anymore until three o'clock in the morning. Yes. 
while yeah. I'm trying to get married. While I'm trying to get married. Yeah. So he's like, no, AD, I really just need to see you go to work. And he didn't understand how I could stay afloat mm. and how shit could keep moving Yeah. because I wasn't working a nine to five. Like, he just didn't understand. Yeah. And I feel like if there was a question about it, if you want to see my bank account, you want to see my, what I have going for me, mm-hmm. you could ask. Yeah, but he never did. No, he never asked to see, like, my finances, like, anything, really. Mm. He just was like, I don't understand how you can do this and I can't. But- AD talks about Clay throwing shade at her finances on the last episode of the show. Y'all, that's why the friend got upset. That's why the, that's why the friend was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh uh-uh, uh, I don't, I don't understand. Uh uh-uh, uh, how you gonna talk about him like that? Da, da, da. That's why the friend spoke out because the friend saw this, and then the friend hopped in the comments and was like, "I don't see how a person can talk down about a person." So now it's all starting to make sense. This is more believable to me. This is way more believable to me. This is just way more believable. Okay, um, could he have been jealous? Yes. It could it could have been jealousy. It, it could have been, you know, maybe he. That's what men be doing sometimes. They be comparing themselves to us when it comes to how we do things financially or how we're able to do things financially. So, or it could have been that the friend was jealous. It could have been that the friend was in fact jealous, and he felt some type of way because why didn't Clay out him out? No, why didn't Clay out her out on the show? He never he never mentioned, he never even hinted based off of the clips that we saw. He never even hinted at there being someone else. Not even an ex. He didn't even seem concerned about her working with the ex. He was still questioning how she was making her money. He didn't even question, like, I think it's kind of weird that you work for your ex. He didn't even make that a point at all, based off of what we saw. So, I don't know. Yeah, I think, like I said, I think this whole thing is kind of brought on by Clay's best friend. And it sounds like he was hating. That, that's what it sounds like. Okay, the friend dude, the, frown, the friend sound like a hater. Because if Clay... Clay don't seem like he's a part of what the friend is doing. He seemed like he, the friend is doing this all on his own. That's what it seemed like from where I'm sitting. I don't know. But I'm not, listen, I'm not mad at this. I'm relieved, if anything. I'm more relieved than anything. But to be fair, because a lot of women are like, I don't understand why this is important. Listen, we've, we've seen several people this season get outed uh, on Love is Blind for being on here potentially for the wrong reasons. And if this is true, I think it's only fair that this is questioned. I, I think it's only fair. But with me saying that, I'm not mad at it though. Two things can be right at the same time. It's only fair for her to be questioned, okay? But then at the same time, it's like, well, I'm not mad at it though. Because, listen, if she and if she and Clay put their heads together and came up with this, I'm not mad at it. AD takes me for a woman that's classy, calculated, and very smart. She doesn't take me for a woman that's dumb, which was why I was getting frustrated with her on the show. Because I'm like, girl, why are you letting this man play in your face? You don't take me for a girl that's this dumb. She just didn't. But if she came up with this plan i'm not mad y'all like i'm really not mad she became a fan favorite this season people love her she's probably one of the most popular on the show outside of jessica and you know the palm community they love her like ad was just loved by this season from from the love is blind fans so i'm not really mad at this and then Another reason why I believe that this is believable is because I showed y'all this video in my last review of this show. Um, In my last review, the reunion. And I was just like, why do they keep saying in real life? 
Listen closely. AD doesn't hate me in real life. Oh, I don't hate you in real life. I don't hate you in fake life. I don't hate you in any, any life. <laughs> How'd you feel like the reunion went? Let me sit down. I didn't know I was going to do another interview. You got another interview. Look at this dress. Actually, let's do some fun. Like, talk, okay, tell me about your dress. Okay, let me cut my shit down. Yeah. But... AD doesn't hate me in real life. Oh, I don't hate you in real life. I don't hate you in fake life. I don't What's what's the point of them saying real life? I don't hate you in real life. I don't like I don't hate you in fake life. What is T? I'm just gonna be honest. The the sugar baby is making sense to me. Okay. It, it just it is the streets was already talking but no one could confirm until his best friend said something but but then also let me show you what else i saw because if clay and ad came they came together and they decided to to do this right they're not the only couple that did this I'm about to post this to my community tab so I can pull it up. Jimmy and Chelsea are also being accused of doing the same thing, potentially. Okay, so let me pull it up. Let me... Okay, let me read it to y'all because a fan bumped into Chelsea and uh, Jimmy. And this is what she had to say. So she said that, well, let me go back. She ran into Jimmy and Chelsea in Fort Lauderdale Friday. And y'all remember right before the reunion, there were photos of them being seen together and it was rumored that maybe they were together, right? And apparently this was all a publicity stunt. So she said, y'all, they are so sweet. Chelsea is actually the sweetest human ever. Totally, total girl's girl. I sat and talked at their dinner table for like five minutes and I asked all the questions and got all the tea. And then this woman in this group said, update y'all, I just got back on Facebook. Basically, the T is they are not together and it's a PR stunt when they were together this weekend. The whole big fight they had, they had a great day together and producers told them to tell each other what they don't like about each other. They edit and want the juiciest scenes for entertainment, thought everyone knew that. LOL. She said that they had many bars in the pods and it was up to 18 hours filming. They were all hammered the whole time. They seemed like friendly, but definitely not a couple. They both told me they were not together. Sarah N is with Jeremy, LOL, TikTok investigator. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is funny. TikTok investigators were right. TikTok investigators, y'all out here taking them W's, okay? Uh, where did I stop? Where did I stop? Okay, TikTok investigators, y'all were right. And then also they stayed in a hotel, like <clears throat> in a hotel in like a bus. They would bust them over to the pods to film. Another couple got married, but they didn't show it because the reveal was awful. Interesting. Please be grace gracious. She was so kind and sweet. How would you feel about people commenting on your looks on the internet? I know it comes with the territory, but she is more than that. She did not have to have me sit with me. No, she did not have to have me sit with them. She was truly nice. Okay. So what y'all think? What y'all think? Then let me let me see. I just always I always wanted to know what it looked like from behind the scenes when it comes to these reality TV shows. But like I know for a fact I can't do this because I'm about to show you what I'm talking about. I don't think I could do this. 
AD in the new house, your first day moving in with me. Ooh, look at you. Your skin looks so beautiful oh, in this. Thank you. Ooh, let's back it up. Gotta get AD for all side because AD is a whole package. Yeah. Period, right? Pour me up. Damn, baby. That was mine. <laughs> I don't like it so much. Oh, man. Let's get the whole vibe. Yeah. I love the the green. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all, but like, <laughs> what y'all think? This is just my opinion, by the way. But what y'all think? I had to, I had to show y'all this so y'all could see where I was coming from. I, I'm not mad at this though. I, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I was more mad of the storyline. But if it if it comes out that this is, you know, all of this extra stuff that's going on offline is true, girl. Um, I'm I'm actually happy. <laughs> Okay, because girl, I thought she looked a hot mess before, but now I'm like, oh, okay, okay, I can get with this. I couldn't get with the program before. I couldn't get with that. I was like, oh my gosh. So, and then think about how heavy those cameras are. They're heavy as hell. And they sitting up here holding it. You really think they sitting up here holding it for hours and hours and hours? I mean, I don't know trying to get those perfect camera angles and stuff like that. So I, I don't know. This seems, it, it's, it's interesting. It's, it's interesting. It's not bad, but I'm just, mm, no. Definitely awkward. Definitely awkward for sure. So do, do y'all see where I'm coming from? This don't got nothing to do with clay and this is, this is what I, I have to say this. I have to get this off my chest. Anytime I don't favor women when it comes to situations, y'all automatically think I'm taking the man's side. Maybe there's not a side to take <laughs> because I, I can't coddle women for making dumbass choices in men. I'm sorry. I can't, girl, because the man was in the pods being dusty and I, I didn't see it getting better outside of the pods. So I felt like AD made a dumbass choice in a man. And there was just no excuses I could make for her. So if it may seem like I'm taking Clay's side, I'm not because he's a bad choice. There's there's nothing to choose in a bad situation. It's a situation you avoid. So if it's a bad situation and it's a situation you avoid, sis, there's no side to take. <laughs> there is no side to there's no side to take. There, there's no side to be had in the situation. It was dumb. It, it was dumb, which is why I want to believe that this is true, that she has a sugar baby. Okay. Because then that means the storyline is fake. That's why I care about this. People, I had, I had women projecting on me on my community tab, trying to make it seem like I'm looking at her having a sugar daddy as a negative thing. No, it exposed that her storyline was fake, which made me feel relieved because I'm tired of seeing black women on these reality TV shows look at a mess. But if she's trying to capitalize off the situation and she executed, in my opinion, OK, I can I can get with her program. But before her being desperate over a man, over a dusty that made it clear to her that he was a dusty in the pods and, and then get to the altar and this man is mouthing no, and you say yes, and, and then and then being humiliated in front of your family and friends, and, and then crying after the I, I can't get with that. I, I couldn't get with that program. I couldn't. And then asking this man, why wasn't I like, why didn't you choose me? Was I not enough? Like, girl, I didn't want to believe, I didn't want to believe it. I didn't want to believe it. I'm just being honest. I couldn't get with that program. So I'm I'm happy that this is the real situation. I hope it is the real situation at this point. Yeah, she's getting endorsements. We, we she's been on I don't know how many podcasts. I listen. I'm not mad at this. I'm I'm not mad. And then she said, "Let's go back," because she said, "I'm a cat woman."
to dive into the experiment and I understand that he wanted to see like what it was like but I told him to pause like I'm leaving my club job because I don't want to work for my ex anymore at till three o'clock in the morning yes anyway, while I'm trying to get married while I'm trying to get married yeah so he's like no AD I really just need to see you go to work and he didn't understand how I could stay afloat mm. And how shit could keep moving yeah. because I wasn't working a nine to five. Like he just didn't understand. Yeah. And I feel like if there was a question about it, if you want to see my bank account, you want to see my, what I have going for me, mm-hmm. you could have asked. Yeah. But he never did. No, he never asked to see like my finances, like anything really. Mm. He just was like, I don't understand how you can do this and I can't. But- AD talks about Clay throwing shade at her finances on the last episode of the show. Check out this clip and let me know how. Mm-hmm. So I prepared for yeah, this, right? Like a, an adult would. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then I also am a realtor. And if you know anything about real estate, you make your own hours, you make your own schedule, you do your own thing. Right. And then I worked in a nightclub, whom was owned by my ex. Mm-hmm. Okay, he was he knew all of this. Yeah. And so my finances have never been funny. Mm-hmm. To make that very clear, never funny, honey. Yeah. And so. When we came back, I was like, hey, look, I'm good. I set myself up. I can take, and I wasn't the only one. A few of us on the cast took work off to take. you can't just leave your job for, like, three months and go film a TV show and think that you're going to have a job when you get back. Right. (laughs) So you set yourself up to to fully dive into the experiment. And I understand that he wanted to see, like, what it was like. But I told him in the pods, like, I'm leaving my club job because I don't want to work for my ex anymore until 3 o'clock in the morning. Yes. Anyway, while I'm trying to get married. While I'm trying to get married. Yeah. So he's like, no, AD, I really just need to see you go to work. And he didn't understand how I could stay afloat. Mm. And how she. Listen. And you know, uh, Grace Report, she said, let me pull up Grace Report, because Grace Report said that she thinks AD wanted a sympathy edit. Let me pull it up. And I was like, what is the sympathy edit? Because I remember her saying that. I remember Grace Report saying that in her review. Let me see if I can find it. Let me see. Uh... Oh, yeah, here it is. Let me pull it up. Because I like to bring other people's opinions up here, too. of theories as to why that could be. I think that one option is that AD wanted to have a victim edit. This wouldn't be the first time it happened on Love is Blind. Remember in season one, Mark, who was 10 years younger than Jessica, played the victim on the show all the while in real life behind the scenes. He was thotting and bopping at his local gym, um, you know, picking up girls and cheating on Jessica and everything like that. In fact, he's now married to a woman that he cheated on with LC during the, the program, right? I'm not saying that ADs out here thought and bopping, wheeling and dealing or anything like that, but it just goes to show that some people, they want a certain image on TV. Kenny as well from season one, remember he was having his huge meltdown behind the scenes or we saw it on, on the show and everything like that when Kelly said no at the altar. But come to find out, he knew she was going to say no. And his real issue was the fact that he didn't get to say no first, right? Um, And and there have been other people who kind of go down that road as well. Now, um, I think another option could be that she was in denial. She kind of felt like maybe she could force his hand in front of everybody. Maybe she felt like he was asking her to say no first because he didn't have the heart to say no if she said yes. What y'all think? I do. I want to know what y'all think. That's all I have regarding this video. But listen, if this is in fact true, I'm here for it. I I am. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Because I'm still thinking about Aaliyah from, I think it was season five and how she was done in Uche. Uche and Aaliyah. Girl. So it's a nice switch up. It may be wrong, 
and it may be it may lack integrity right because i you know maybe that's another reason why love is blind this season felt the need to prove that you know this is a real experiment and we can't control if people come on our show for fame maybe that's why they were trying to really prove themselves that this is a real experiment i don't know but what y'all think what y'all think okay that's all I have regarding this video. Give the video a thumbs up and I hope to see you in my next one.